the man, gracious. Thanks, I'm not afraid to admit it to black women. Let's get into this. I refuse to be friends with black or even mixed girls, boys, because I never get along with them. And the friendship somehow never lasts. It ends terribly. I will always be friend one think like me. I only have one good black friend and I love her. I also fell, felt uncomfortable near those black folks because they will mean mug me, talk about me, and just be overall weird because I don't match their personality. I'm now, I'm neurodivergent and nerdy. Also, I made a life rule to never in my life date a black dude because seeing all these horror stories dating them, how they treat y'all. Uh, hold it together, hold it together. How they treat y'all. Like, no thanks, I'll stick to my wonderful Korean boyfriend. And so that's the thing, she's the not afraid to say the black one. <coughs> mm, okay. I can understand how you can have some kind of affinity towards black people. Here's where I start to draw the line, though. Number one, the way you made it seem is that black people are just criminals and individuals that you should not be around. Is there is that like that? Some places, of course, there is. But it's all right. Every community has their bad apples. But that second part, you know, that's the part I want to lean on. She said. Uh, I also feel uncomfortable near those black folks. What I, I don't get that part. But you're not friends with black or even mixed girls because I never get along with them. What about you? Aren't you black? Aren't you mixed? Aren't you something? I don't get that part. You you put everybody out there as if that's one community, but you exclude yourself. And then this part right here. Also, I made a life rule never in my life to date a black dude because seeing all the horror stories, dating them, how they treat y'all. Ma'am. <laughs> Ma'am, I'm so tired of the disrespect towards the black men. What do you mean how we treat them? Have you seen how black women treat black men? Have you? There's a new TV show that came out. Y'all watched it with me the other day. The the balloon show, the balloon pop. Shout out to that sister who's doing a great job over there on that YouTube channel. But uh, do y'all remember all the black women that were popping their balloons for a young man that was in law school because of the way he dressed? Y'all remember that? They said. He's doing all this stuff, getting money. He is very intelligent. He's even in law school, but because he was soft spoken and they didn't like the way he dressed, they just rained down on him. Do we remember the other young black woman who said that she couldn't stand the way a man spoke? She said that his her, her his vocabulary wasn't high enough. I will keep mentioning this and I'll mention it forever. I made a video talking to black women, asking them. Why do black women have a disdain for black men? And they said these exact words. Niggas ain't shit. What do you mean how black women treat black men treat black women? See, what do you mean? Because the only stories you ever hear, ma'am, are from those black women who date those kind of black men and have horror stories. Because when a black woman does date a black, a good black man. She just forgets that he even exists. She just goes right back to the, the bad black men that she dated. And when she says bad, that means because she was most of the time difficult to get along with. And her standards were so exceptional that she, she considers him a dusty. She considers him broke. She goes right to. Broke boys don't deserve no pussy. I know that's right. They go right to that. And so black women have been trying to get this thing out here that the reason um, that uh, the reason that our community is failing is because black men can't get it together. We're all in jail. Right. Even though 20 million black men walking around in America, 617 thousand of us are incarcerated. Uh, is that the majority of us? Is 600 thousand the majority of 20 million? Don't think so. Absolute lie. One in three of us black men used to be living in that incarcerated life and been in jail, but that number has dropped to one in five. Do they talk about that? Mm -mm, they don't even care about us. Oh, all black men are dead. All black men are deadbeat fathers. 54% uh, of black men have never fathered a child. Oh, we're all out there. 62% of us 
out there getting 62% of us are making a certain amount of money still more than black women. Black men still make more than black women. Oh, but wait, black women are the most educated. No, they're in the most in debt. Black men still have more STEM degrees. See, y'all don't go out there and search for you. See, black women don't go out there to look to see how black men are exceeding. They don't go out there and we see how black men are doing well. They immediately go to this garbage of the, oh, look, I also made a life rule. Never to date a black dude because seeing all the horror stories of dating them. I want to mention this. I did reach out to this young lady to see if she wanted to have an interview. She did not respond. Fine, that's her prerogative. Don't care. So you're going to get this video. You black women are just going to keep talking about us. If she talked about all black people, to be fair with you. But she's thinking she's going to stick with a Korean dude. Fine. You know what, guys? What have I been telling you? Date whoever you want. Date whatever race you want. But why can't black women date another race without always having to put down a black man? And she said that based off the horror story, she wanted to date a black man. So she never even tried. Never even gave it a chance. You try to tell me, young lady, you never came across any good black men? Oh no, you wanted wait you you uh you probably watched the movie Waiting to Exhale, right? All the black men who are successful have black excellent. We cheat or we're gay. That's is that right? Oh, oh <laughs> color purple. Yeah, black men are just beating down on the black women. That's what's going on, right? Oh, you listen to all those horror stories on TikTok about every how all those niggas ain't no good. Yeah, but you know what I tell you, man. You know what we can do now. When we see these women out and about and they say, I don't need another black man. I'll go fight. I'll go fight a white dude or a Korean dude to treat me right. Baby girl, go ahead and go along. Please be happy. We're not waiting for you. We're not hoping for you. We're not begging for you. Get out there on those roads and see how it works out for you. But we know the vast majority of you black women who talk down on black men and think you got somewhere else to go. Guess what? The only thing that's going to be waiting for you at home is a black dog. <laughs> And then you're going to hear those trumpets. She was a good woman. But she just couldn't get a man. But she, but when she couldn't get that man. I'm a PhD. Right back to going right back into debt to get some useless degree. Shout out to my sisters who got great degrees. But I always find it funny when y'all go out there and get those degrees. And then you say, you know what? I still want a man who gets money. I still want a man who will be able to take care of me. We ain't finding enough for no money. You get second shift at the plant. You don't get that. You don't get that, madam. <laughs> you don't get that. You can't have it all. None of us can have it all. You can't get out there and get your life. You can't get out there and be like, you know what? What I'm going to do is I'm going to get this education and get all this money, getting all this debt, and then a man's going to come sweep me off my feet. Baby girl, you're sadly mistaken. You're going to end up all by yourself paying all that money all alone y'all heard me play a song if you watch this live i played a song at the beginning of the uh thing right it's kind of a it's a great song but it is kind of a play on words too let me just play a quick snippet of it i'm gonna live like there's no tomorrow i'm gonna say goodbye to the sorrow and i ain't no way i'm gonna run no because i'm a super Man. It's funny because that's what women want us to be. A superman. They want us to have great sex. They want us to make a ton of money. They want us to be aggressive while also being soft. They want us to be hardworking while also giving them attention. They also want us to be in great shape but not too great a shape. They want us to make enough money to be able to do whatever they want but their money is their money. They want us to make all the money to try to build an empire while their money just goes towards luxury stuff. Just so they can brag to all their other girlfriends how much money they got. Or go on there and talk about being a boss chick. And us men have to do all the romances. We have to buy them a car on Valentine's Day. Buy them a car on their birthday. And then buy them another car on Christmas. And then next year we have to buy them a house on Valentine's Day. A house on their birthday. A house on Christmas. And we got to go to Paris for the 4th of July. <laughs> but once again fellas don't bother yourself with these ladies don't bother yourself with them they, they think us they think we're trash fine they think that we give all these horrible stories fine they think we're at the bottom cool 
Let them live. Black men, we have been seeing an increase in so many places. Black men, we have been seeing an increase in income, lower incarceration. We are not babying all these babies. They say that we are. We are doing much better as a collective. Do we still got a ways to go? Of course we do. But we are taking steps and we are not going to be stopped because some black women say that we're not as good as another race of men, whatever race they want to choose. I don't care. Black men, we're going to keep going forward. We're going to keep teaching each other. We're going to keep showing each other black excellence and what it means to act in accordingly. So black men, just keep doing what you're doing. Don't worry about these black women out here who look like this. Okay. And telling us that we're scrubs. Okay. Don't worry about these black women. Just let them go out there and live. This is the same one who identifies, says, things I'm not afraid to admit to black women that she won't even hang out with the other black women. You don't always find that so funny too. Black women talk about the sisterhood. The sisterhood, we're all together. And then you hear black women talk shit about other black women all the time. It is, it's disgusting. Crabs in a barrel. And for those people who don't understand, I love to explain it because I don't understand if I just say crabs in a barrel, I don't want to make people uh, not understand. Crabs in a barrel. When you put crabs in a barrel, no crabs get out of that barrel. You know why crabs don't get out of that barrel? Because other crabs pull other crabs down. They would rather, and when you put crabs in a barrel, they would rather all die than let it, than be able to get out. Because anytime a crab starts to get out, another crab pulls them down. But that's okay. For the black men who made it out of that barrel, let those crabs keep fighting each other. These black women, crabs. Anyway, I'm gone. Peace.